history was made one year ago today when Guyana experienced what appears to have been the most peaceful election in the country's history. Apart from that, the results gave victory to the first coalition government while dethroning the 23-year-old PPC government. One year later, some things have experienced change, while others have remained much the same. The government has released a 50-point flyer which boasts of its accomplishments over the year. At the top of the list are salary increases for public servants, higher minimum wage, and reducing toll at the Burbys River Bridge, among others. At a press conference earlier this week, General Secretary of the main opposition People's Progressive Party, Civic, was asked to rate the government's performance thus far. We haven't, um, the PPP hasn't actually done any work in that respect as yet, but it's a good idea we can look at. Thank you for the idea suggestion. That statement from Clement Rohi comes just months after he gave the then new government an F for performance. Despite not being able to properly go through the work of the coalition, these were some of the concerns of the PPP. That the economy is in a tailspin, that uh, investments are drying up, we're not seeing any investments coming in the country, uh, more and more pressures are being piled upon the people, more and more taxes, people are, the situation is becoming more and more unsustainable. The coalition had previously defended that what was evidence over the past months was due to their inheritance from the previous government. Meanwhile, the government is also boasting of achievements like being able to curb piracy, taking steps to constitutional reform, massively cleaning up Georgetown, and hosting local government elections after 22 years. However, there are still a number of promises that the coalition is yet to deliver on, like lowering value-added tax, significantly raising the salary of teachers in particular, and setting up an agricultural bank, among others. I'm Ruth Granham-Harry, reporting for Safe TV 2 Headline News.